Hi guys, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatorius. So this is a very simple point I'd like to make, and that is that thrusts are often underappreciated in HEMA or in historical fencing, and indeed in modern fencing to some extent as well, I guess, from a spectator point of view. So just to explain that, first of all, as a spectator, if you don't necessarily understand what you're looking at, what looks the most impressive, and we've got accounts of this sort of from the same point of view from the Victorian period, for example, what looks most impressive are heavy blows. So, for example, a big thwack is audible and looks, you can see it, it's more visual, you can see the sudden stop motion of the, of the blade or the stick, whatever you're using, on the person, and it looks painful as well, it looks impressive. And so from a spectator point of view, whether it's a crowd at a reenactment event or whether it's a, um, a group of people on YouTube watching martial arts demonstrations, a hit often looks more impressive than a poke. However, in reality, what you've got to bear in mind is what that would actually equate to in a real fight with sharp weapons, for example. So if we're talking about something like sabres or uh, medieval one-handed arming swords, a cut will obviously have a, a nasty effect on the, on the person who receives it, as will a thrust. But a thrust will pass through with apparently little resistance, whatever it hits. So if a thrust lands in someone's hand, it's very likely that the blade will pass right through their hand and stick out the back before it's extracted. If a thrust hits someone there with um, even fairly light force, it will probably go straight the way through and poke out the back and then be withdrawn again. And in fact, I know people who've been run through by broken blades um, and other objects as well. And um, often they don't realise until a sort of a second or two after they've been thrust that they've been thrust. And in fact, crime reports um, suggest a similar thing with um, stab victims as well, or people who've been glassed, this kind of thing. Penetration with a point looks very subtle, it's easy to miss, it's, it's quick and direct and it's in and out and it has very little resistance on the human body and if there's clothing involved as well you're more likely to get through clothing or heavy jackets or types of armour with a point than you are with the blow from an edge. However visually the edge blow, the strike, the caveman thwack with a club looks more impressive. Now this actually has an effect I believe on HEMA people as well and I've run many tournaments over the years, I've competed in many tournaments and I've watched many tournaments on the internet and very often there is an unconscious bias to favouring hits for this reason because often judges see a hit, they see a cut and they hear the cut and everyone in the audience goes ooh when the person's hit in a way that doesn't happen with thrusts and with HEMA weapons it's even more the case because our weapons are designed to flex so when you thrust someone they don't suddenly stop or you don't see a blade go through their body and stick out the back instead the blade just flexes a bit and then goes back to normal and it looks like nothing so it's really really important for us who are actually practicing martial arts to remember that when a point hits that would do all sorts of nasty things with minimal force a sharp point takes shockingly little force to push through meat and you can test this for yourselves with your uh, chicken breast at home next time you have a roast chicken or a, 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 a gammon or whatever just get your sharp carving knife can be as sharp as you like can be razor sharp whatever you like and hit the thing um, and see the effect and now just put your point against the meat and push and see how deeply it goes in a thrust with a sharp point takes very very little force to enter a, a meaty body, a human or an animal or anything else, um, whereas cuts are spread over a larger area and they're actually it's more difficult to make a cut have um, a great effect on a target and of course remember that a point penetrates deeper into a target so if it goes into anything like a, a torso or indeed even something like an arm it's going to scramble things around inside much more quickly much like a gunshot wound um, it's going to reach internal organs for example or if it hits you in the head it's more likely to reach the brain and that kind of stuff so to sum up, essentially thrusts are often underappreciated and when you're looking at videos, I want you as my viewers, this is what I would suggest and advise you to do, when you're watching bouts, whether it's on my channel or any other channel, look for those thrusts and you'll see how often thrusts go in and sometimes go unnoticed, sometimes go unnoticed by the fighters 
and sometimes unfortunately go unnoticed by judges as well and those thrusts very often would actually do more damage despite the fact they're harder to see and people notice them less they would often do more damage than the cuts which seem really impressive but if they land on a meaty part of a body like a thigh or a shoulder or indeed anything with clothing on or a hat on might not do very much at all so those thrusts give them credit where the credit is due cheers folks Thank you for watching, please subscribe, follow us on Facebook, you can buy t-shirts through Spreadshirt, support us on Patreon or follow us on Pinterest. Thank you.